Uh, that's the stuff. Function. Mix some algebra idea on or graph. Okay. <clears throat> uh, sketch graph is uh, both higher level and standard level. Uh, sketching graph part. Uh, first idea, first step. We need the banana bread. We need asymptote. X equals two. Y equals three. So that's how we sketch graph. X equals two. Y equals three. And intercepts zero zero so we know this point so the curve just make sure it's approaching the asymptote approaching uh, not away so you cannot sketch like this way approaching approaching so that's the graph And B C okay. Oh, we, we double check B C easy. Oh, B C is easy. <clears throat> we double check D. If we have absolute value, this one just means f x between three over two and the negative three over two. Three over two. Here. Negative three over two. Here. So for D, uh, we just need this piece. We just need this piece. If you need the part in between two parallel lines, we just need to find the intersection or X values. Y value just three over two. So it's a kind of solving this equation now. Yeah, six X equals three X minus six. X equals two. No, negative two. Oh, so here is negative two. The other one. Negative three over two. Two over three. So the answer. X between negative two and two over three. That's it. That's it. Um, Uh, that's for part D. For part E, if you have absolute value inside or uh, just around the X, the graph change to symmetrical about Y axis. This type of function called the even function, like a negative And the positive, they give you the same answer. 
negative three and positive three for x r, they give you the same y value. So symmetrical now. So how we sketch the graph? This part symmetrical here. This part symmetrical just here. So this green graph for E. The green graph below three over two, just this part in the middle. So the answer negative two to positive two. That's it. Uh, uh, Raymond tried to use algebra. That's like uh, too much, too much. Uh. Of course, we can double check uh, if we just use purely algebra without graph, without graph, how we solve the inequality. The question is here. Check on uh, pure algebra way. Pure algebra way. And part E. This is part E. Okay. Um, how we solve this one? Solve inequality now. <clears throat> Okay, how we solve it? <clears throat> uh, we have this way on. Let's have a look. Just algebra way. Uh, our group, oh. oh, I forgot to bring this group into this call. Okay, just recheck. <clears throat> okay, how we do it using algebra. For algebra, the basic idea here, one possible way, everything times by x minus two squared. When we time something about x, you need to be careful. If the part you try to multiply always positive, a direction no change. If always negative, you reverse the direction for inequality. But I times by this one, this one always positive. So we have, oh, we, we can cancel two as well. We times by two as well. So we got negative three. Like here, we times everything by two times x minus two squared. Okay, now uh, this inequality just give you two, two inequalities. The first one is here. The second one is here. Oh, we try to solve two inequalities. X need to satisfy both inequalities. Um, Nathan, what's the next step? 
uh, it, you open the brackets. Oh, we try to use the efficient way. We don't open the brackets. Efficient way, try here, huh? Hey, we don't open the brackets. We just do factor. Hey, Nathan, what in the bracket? Uh, one plus x, is it? Oh, we just take out the x minus two. You still have x minus two. Here. Right, x, x minus two and then plus x. Plus. Two, two x. Yo, two x. So we got a zero. Oh, this is inequality. X between two and two over three. Okay. The other side, similar. We take out. Oh. Yeah. This one. How about this one? Huh? This one is inverted parabola. Here. We need to satisfy both inequality. Okay, oh, you satisfy both inequality. See, looks like there's some mistake. Oh, we need to double check. Where is the mistake? Just double check any mistake. Um, take out this here, here. Three X minus two, okay, X minus two. This is bigger than zero. Also this one wrong. This one, uh, this one wrong. Because it's a this parabola, two over three, two. We need a bigger than zero, so here and here. So x need a less than two over three, or x bigger than two. Oh, <clears throat> and the overlap with this one together. X bigger than two nothing in common with the second part. So the final answer. Yeah. Oh. That's this question. Of course you can try make one side zero. Oh. For example, make one side zero. common denominator. Hey, 
in the division less than zero, which means the multiplication also less than zero. Oh. Oh, this x modulus, of course, cannot less less than zero. So the final answer is the same as here. That's how we solve purely algebra. Graph easier. Huh? Graph is easier. Okay, new topic. Where's the picture? Oh, here, here, here. We're checking part four. Later five. Part four, binomial expansion counting. We check counting first. Like how you count, how many possible ways. Uh, 